morning, uh, the fatal assault of 24-year-old uh, Tyler Jordan Wingate. Uh, again, our heart and prayers goes out to that family, um, but also to all the families uh, that have been victim of, of tragedy. Um, as you know, uh, we did arrest Lawrence James Davis, 24-year-old, has been taken into custody without incident. Uh, but there's so many people to thank. Certainly our special response team uh, who physically took him into custody, but certainly I'd be remiss not to talk about the other departmental entities that were involved. Certainly our headquarters surveillance, uh, of course our homicide team that just does such tremendous work in really uh, looking for suspects involved in violence. Uh, again, our special response team, the 10th Precinct, Organized Crime Unit, Violent Crime Reduction Initiative, and certainly you, our media partners, uh, we know that you were instrumental in uh, expeditiously getting out information about this suspect, uh, getting it out. And I also want to thank the community. Uh, as you can imagine from your news stories, a number of community members uh, did reach out, give us information relative uh, to this uh, suspect. But again, this suspect was taken into custody uh, without incident. And with that, I'll open it up for any questions you might have. Chief, can you talk about the insanity that some people would even um, be involved in trying to hide this guy for the days that this happened? All of it's insane. Uh, whether you're hiding, you know about the whereabouts, uh, you're not a good community partner. Uh, this victim was viciously attacked, lost his life, uh, but this is just one of several. Uh, when you talk about uh, an evening out during the summer and you had a party uh, and party goers are met with violence over a simple argument. Uh, why does this have to happen? And then we think about this situation, an accident. The suspect was at fault and he then attacked this victim. It's wrong and anything like it is wrong. It's just too much of this kind of violence in the city. Chief, can you tell us what led you guys to uh I cannot, um, and as you know, because we have this conversation on a regular basis, uh, I cannot go into how we proceed through in our investigative work. Uh, it's important that we protect uh, how we do it, uh, but just say there was a, a lot of diligence, uh, certainly relentless follow-up to our leads and tips uh, that really led us to locating this suspect. And I don't know if I said it, but he was arrested in an apartment building in the 23500 block of West 8 Mile. That's where he was arrested, in an apartment building. Chief Craig, from, from day one, you said this is priority, priority number one for your, your force here. Can you talk about the manpower that went behind to making this arrest? Well, let me, and I want to uh, just bring a point of clarity here. Uh, every time a person is murdered in the city of Detroit, it is a priority. Uh, certainly, uh, some cases take a heightened concern, you know, talking about when you talk about children, uh, the elderly, and sometimes when we have great leads on a, a case, certainly we try to follow up and address that as quickly as possible, but each and every case is critical for us. And this is not the first time that we have certainly uh, uh, mobilized resources to go after murder suspects. I mean, uh, I think of the uh, the, the tragedy that happened probably over a month ago now where five members of the LBGTQ community were shot, three of them fatal, and it was this department, uh, the relentless follow-up, certainly using facial recognition technology, uh, we were able to bring some closure. Well, let's talk about the tragic shooting death uh, on the freeway involving a three-year-old, uh, leveraging technology, uh, and certainly a case that would have probably not been solved, uh, but it was solved. And so these are the kind of crimes where we put everything we can. Um, uh, this took a little longer than we would have liked to. Uh, clearly he was on the run. Uh, and as uh, one of your colleagues indicated, um, there's a suggestion of maybe there are people uh, that was hiding him. They knew he was involved in this, this horrible crime and did nothing to assist us. That is a problem for me. Could they face charges of people who were hiding them? Well, I don't know if we've gotten that deep into the investigation that we could definitively say what actions uh, individuals were taking to conceal him. 
based on our investigative work, we believe it. Uh, proving it is another. And so uh, we're not at a place right now where that we'll be charging additional people for concealing uh, this suspect. Do you have any idea how long you've been staying there? Uh, no idea. He's moving around, I can tell you that. He's moving around to different locations. We know that through our investigative work. What do you think about that? There were, you know, pleas from you, pleas from this family to turn himself in, and he's moving around from different locations to elude you guys. Well, that's not surprising. I mean, he knows what the outcome will be. Uh, he knows. And so he's not the first person to try to evade us, especially when you talk about a crime of this magnitude. You're talking about a murder. And he knows there's not too many places he would go. And again, to the good citizens out there that they were calling us, and there were sightings, and we followed up on each and every one of those, those leads. But we're convinced there are others that knew uh, that he was hiding, knew where he was, and did nothing, and said nothing. Were there tips that led to today's um, apartment? There was a, a little bit more than that. I, I just can't go into it. It's part of this investigative work that we do on every case. Com a combination is safe to say. We do leverage our technology very effectively. And that should be a, a caution note to others who want to get out and engage in senseless crimes. Get involved in a dispute and you decide to resort to violence. Never acceptable. Anything else? Well, thank you. And again, thank you for being our partners too because you assisted greatly. All right.